What's up? I am Richard from the Tarantula Collective, and thank you, Kat, for inviting me to be in this video. The Avicularia avicularia was the first arboreal tarantula I ever added to my collection. There's been a lot of issues over the years with people debating on exactly how to take care of them. For a long time, the humidity level inside the enclosure was the main focus, but we've learned over time that cross ventilation is much more important than the humidity. In fact, stagnant air is thought to be the main cause of sudden avic death syndrome. So it is important to house them in an enclosure that has good cross ventilation. Personally, I use acrylic enclosures or exoterra tall enclosures. I use a large water dish placed at the bottom of the enclosure and provide them with plenty of tall cork bark and plants that they can use as anchors for their webbing and to hide behind. My Avix are the most docile arboreal tarantulas that I have in my collection. They have type two urticating hairs, so they don't kick them at you, but they can rub those urticating hairs off onto your skin by pressing their abdomen up against you. At one time I had two or three different species of avicularia, but all those species and locales were all reclassified as avicularia avicularia. There are now six morph types, I believe. Even my avicularia bronchalcini is now considered avicularia avicularia. You do need to be careful when interacting with this tarantula because it is known to jump and it will also shoot its poop as a defensive measure. But other than cleaning up white poop off the side of the enclosure, this is an awesome tarantula and I highly suggest everyone add one to their collection if you don't have one already. This was a lot of fun. Thanks so much, Tarantula Cat, and I will see you all later.